Hi, I'd like to talk to you today about the exciting topic of septic tanks. Yeah, septic tanks. Um, I'm selling two properties at the moment and both have their own uh, waste treatment system, i.e. septic tanks. And I decided to check if they had planning permission and discovered that they don't. So they're two very different properties. One is well over 100 years and the other properties is a 1970s property. So in this instance, just to say, um, it's really, really important if you're thinking of selling and um, you have your own waste system and it's been there years or you grew up on a farm and you don't know whether your parents got planning permission or whatnot, it's really important that you get that sorted. You cannot go to the market without planning permission. Well, you can, but if you want a smooth sale, you don't want to do that. So um, in both instances, I um, got an engineer to assess the sites and um, they've given a quotation. So this is the job of an engineer. Hi, Mark. How are you? And Anne, this is the job. And Sinead, hi. This is the job of an engineer basically to sort it out. So in, in both instances, let's say Joe um, has looked at the property and um, looked at the, um, the maps and so he's given a quotation and he will, hi Mary, he will basically um, carry out a site sustainability assessment, okay? And what that means is digging percolation test holes, okay? And carry out a percolation test on the site in order to determine the percolation rates of the soil um, and then to design uh, a new wastewater treatment system. Now, hi Christine. Um, like, so we don't need to worry about all that detail, but the point is an engineer needs to go on, do testing in the soil, and from that testing, he then designs a um, treatment system and applies for planning. Hi Mary, um, or hi May, sorry. So then, right, he prepares the planning application for the proposed system and lodges with the council. Hi Lavinia. In terms of the planning, it takes three months to get the planning. Now, you, it's if you've got a good engineer and they've done the soil testing and they've applied for um, planning, it's it's pretty much a certainty that there won't be an issue getting the planning. Hi, Nicole. And once planning is granted, a groundwork contractor has to come um, and um, basically install the new treatment system. So, i.e. a JCB comes on site and digs a ginormous hole and puts the system in. Um, and really then it needs to be signed off. So it's really, really important, hi Karen, that you have your ducks in a row, right? Um, so this is the case for both properties and one owner maybe wasn't so keen on doing this, hi Erica. Um, but I said to her, look, if we've got a buyer who's going to get a mortgage, their mortgage uh, application won't be successful because the bank will send a valuer and they will send an engineer to assess the property and, um, Basically, if there's no planning permission, big X out. And you want, when you're selling a property, to expose your property to as big an audience as possible, right? But this is all pretty straightforward. We're not going to wait. Hi, Maureen. We are not going to wait for the planning permission to be complete before we put the house on the market. No, we're going to put both properties on the market while all that stuff is going on in the background. We'll also have an engineer's report, so any really serious um, buyers, kind of full side of the engineer's report, and it's all about transparency. There's no advantage to hiding things from buyers. Hi, Gina, how are you? Like, there's, there's no advantage to hiding these things from buyers. You know, full disclosure, this is what it is. And if they've an appetite for whatever issues are there, um, then they're the right prospect as a buyer. The last thing you want is to go to market, have a buyer, and then all these problems start coming up. So I can't stress the importance of getting your ducks lined up. So you might be thinking of going to market in a year or six months, but it's no harm to get ready now. And in fact, I'd highly recommend it. Um, also, uh, with one of the properties that we have coming to the market, it's very old. Um, there is, could be some issues in terms of wiring, plumbing, roof. We're gonna get an engineer's report done. That means then when we have serious buyers, we give them full disclosure because it makes sense. Why would you wait? Hi, Paula. Why would you wait until you have a serious punter? Then they get all scared. 
you know, um, because it's not for everybody um, in terms of getting jobs done. But regarding the way system, it's fairly straightforward. You get the expert in, they put a plan together, you pay them to do it, you go to market, and by the time your sale is nearly over the line, the planning permission is in. So if you want any advice or can help you, please um, reach out. So this is my exciting topic for a Monday, septic tanks. Take care, it's long a fall. Mm -hmm.